Hello, Olivia here. I hold quite a bit of tension, typically in my throat and up into the jaw, and also right across the middle and upper back, right out to the, the edge of the lats here. So in this short sequence, I'd like to show you a technique that I use to completely release all the tension in these throat muscles, um, and also the, across the middle back. All you need is a comfortable chair, solid, feet are flat on the floor, now for the jaw part, I can't actually talk as I demonstrate it. So we'll do a voiceover for that part and then I'll come back to the live audio when I do the second thing for the middle back. So sitting comfortably on the chair, you'll reach around and hold your chair. Lift the chest, actively pull the shoulders back and down. Open the mouth wide and take the head back and then this is where we'll go into the voiceover. Take the head as far back as comfortable with the mouth open. Loose, gently close the teeth. And now I'm pursing the lips and focusing on pushing the chin up towards the ceiling. Then I've inclined my head a little bit to the left and I'm really focusing on the right side of the throat there. I'm doing some small rotations, trying to twist just a little bit further each time. And then I found the tightest line then I'm doing some head back, chin forward movements. Small scale movements, but they really draw on the stretch. And now I go to the other side. So first is to rotate a little bit, feel the line of pull there, push the lower jaw forward and up. And then those small rotation movements, try to go a little bit further in that direction each time. And then add some head back, chin forward. As well, pull the shoulder back and down again. Bring the head back and now I'm doing some full arcing movements with the maximum extension that I can sustain. Come down through the middle, let go of the chair, do a counter movement, a simple chin to chest, hands on the back of the head, gentle movement, little left and right movements as well. Use the hands to help the head back upright. Okay, so that's the sequence for all of this area and I was even feeling it across the top of the chest today. Now the second part, we have an exercise that we call the sumo rotation. You can do it sitting in the chair. And typically we come down and have one hand on a knee and reach around and hold the ankle of the same leg. For this version though, instead reach through and hold the leg of the chair Bend that bottom arm so that it can get a pulling force. But unlike when we typically do a rotation where we're trying to get the spine as long and straight as possible before we start adding the twisting movement, here, deliberately pull on a flexion, pull with the bottom arm, push down with the top one. And for me, that is getting very, very powerfully into this area here. It's actually one of the strongest flexions that I can bring on in order to get into that part where I hold a lot of tension. So the bottom arm is pulling, notice it's bent, the top arm is pushing down, and I'm actively flexing. We'll do a contraction here, ask yourself how could I do this movement, trying to pull back with the arm, as well as counter-rotate. Big breath in, flex again. It's mainly the action of pulling on that bottom arm that's holding the leg of the chair that gets into that part of the back. And come down. Same thing on the other side. So reach through and hold the leg of the chair so itself it's a different vector to this position. And actively flex and most of the effort is being made by the bottom arm to pull through. Breathe as deeply as you can into that part of the middle upper back where you're feeling it. Same contraction, trying to do this action combined with this action. Up, big breath in, flex, pull with the bottom arm. Flex a little bit more if you need to. I have to really flex hard and sit a bit more back onto my buttocks and that gets right into that part of the shoulder blade. Take a big breath in, hands on the knees and up you come. Oh, that is just so marvellous. Give it a go.